Robert, many would think, two inches uh, taller, one inch heavier at weigh-in time for Econo, but I think Misha Tate is normally heavier and a two and a half inch reach advantage for Misha Tate. And of course, the final will be three three-minute rounds. Our tournament final is scheduled for three three-minute rounds with referee Neil Sarenbach in charge. You ready? You ready? Take the pre-tournament favorite, Akano, the most experienced fighter in the tournament. Interesting style matchup. Wrestler, Tate, submission specialist, Akano. And instead of two rounds, they'll get three rounds to try to determine the future title contender. And of course, Sarah Kaufman watching from cage side with vested interest. Wicked kick from Akano there that almost landed to the head. Jab through the guard by Tate. Akano fighting from the southpaw pos position. Front kick from Tate. Tate should go back to that jab. The thing about Akano is that she's so unorthodox in her movement. It's going to be hard for Misha to catch her with anything clean standing up. Body kick by Akano. Closes the gap into the clinch. Look at Tate lowering her level, trying to avoid those throws that Akano's so good at. Judo versus wrestling right here in the clinch. And a chant of USA emerges from the crowd here at the Dodge Theater in Phoenix, Arizona. Go behind by Tate, the duck under, but now look at O'Connell's balance. Oh, that's the judo, that's the judo that comes into play there. Second degree judo black belt, a former member of the Japanese national squad. Tate has a chance to get O'Connell's back, but she's also got a chance of being side mounted if O'Connell can slip free of that backward guard. Tate needs to get her right arm out of there. Tate has Akano's back, but Akano rolling through again, running out of real estate along the fence. A minute, six seconds remaining in the opening round. Akano's looking for that leg. There it is. Looking for the uh, ankle. And you see Tate run her foot across the back of Akano's leg to stop it, so Akano would be pulling against her own leg to shut that leg lock down. You can see him fiddling with each other's feet and legs, trying to, trying to get position on that. With this kind of motion, I just hope the referee doesn't restart it. Trying to break the leg. Boy, she's cranking oh, the ankle. Tate trying to stave off the submission attempt by the very wily Hitomi Akano. He's got the underhook on the arm, trying to shut down the leverage. Got out of it. And Tate survives. I think Tate should just back off and let her back on her feet. Yeah, she doesn't want any part of Akano. Now long range bombs stacking Akano up. She has to be very careful. Yes. Final 10 seconds of the opening round. Time! Interesting opening three minutes. Misha Tate survives a very close submission attempt by the submission specialist, Akano. How do you score that one, Fight Professor? I have to get that round to Akano. Akano was the aggressor, and she was getting close to that figure four foot lock. But, uh, I don't know how much, you know, you have to take down and you... Here's Akano hunting that foot, got it locked up, couldn't get the leg lock, but she definitely got the foot lock. And I tell you what, Misha Tate's in pain there. You can see her face. She's got flexible ankles because I know how bad that hurts. And all the other fighters out there that have been in it know how bad it hurts. Good job getting the underhook on the arm, breaking the leverage, and finally getting that uh, hand of Akano off of her foot to stave off that submission. The bell in round two of this tournament final. The two touch gloves. Kano again with that herky jerky motion. And that left roundhouse kick to the body. It was it's a distraction. It was a right roundhouse by Tate. She's mixing it up with her kicks. 
the opening seconds of this second round. I think Tate would be wise to go from being the grappler and wrestler into the striker for this final round against Akano. Body kick from Akano. The one, two, left, right. Oh, she tagged Akano with the right. Exactly. The straight right is what you want to do here against the southpaw and Akano. Akano is using less head movement in this round than she did in the first. And Tate has Akano's back, takes her down. But Akano very comfortable from this position. Akano, nice job, nice job. Trying to turn in to Tate. Tate drops a hammer fist. Very active on the ground is a Tommy Girl Fight Monster Akano. And really, I, I know that Tate's strength is a wrestling. The nickname says it all takedown. You have to wonder if that's the smartest strategy against a girl like Akano. No, it's not because she just got Granby rolled. I'm surprised Akano's not hunting key locks while the arms are wrapped around her. Japanese fighters are always hunting that sort of stuff. For the uninitiated, what is the Granby roll, Pat? Granby's wrestling roll where you, where you basically trap your opponent's arm when, they're, when they've got your back and arm. Basically, the top person, what's called, feeds you an arm. You trap the arm, you roll them through, and you end up on top of them. Great stuff. Look at how Tate's controlling the right leg of Akano, avoiding... Akano from being able to belly down but and turn into her. Even what should be a precarious position, it's Akano here who is trying to Can control Tate. Can see something? Can Tate really see wants something? to wrap that right arm around Akano's neck and go for the neck crank, go for the twister. Wouldn't that be something? Nice job by Tate to get, uh, get final position and get the back. Now, as the hook's in, might want to secure the body triangle. And there she is attempting to do just that. I don't. No, please don't. Come restart on, this. ref. Please don't restart this. This is some good grappling right here. It is grappling, and this is what mixed martial arts is all about. Misha's right arm is snaking his way around toward the choke. Misha trying to get that left arm underneath, but Akano doing a good job of defending. Final 15 seconds. We saw Akano. Try to submit Tate in the opening round. Tate now Ten looking seconds. to submit Akano, but Akano turns in. Armbar. Locking the leg up. Here's the strikes. armbar attempt. Triangle now. Good round of action between Tate and Akano on the ground. Here's a look at Chris Cyborg, Strike Force Women's 145 pound champion, taking in all the action, sitting right next to Strike Force Women's 135 pound champion. Of course, women's MMA has found a home here on Showtime. The two greatest in the sport. I think Megumi Fuji E was in Misha the corner Tate. of a corner might have something to say about that. Misha Tate working a lot to get that choke, landing a few strikes as distractions. Trying to get that rear choke in as hard as she can. Akano doing a good job controlling the hands. It's very important when somebody has your back to control the hands constantly. They can't choke you if they can't Next use their round, hands. Guys. Okay, let's go. Last round. Third and final round. In this, the first ever Strike Force one night single elimination women's tournament in the 135 pound division fight. Professor, how do you have it after two? I have this fight up for grabs because I believe Misha Tate stole that round. Body kick by Tate and takes down Akano. Got the arm trapped, Akano's arm trapped. That makes the choke a little bit easier. Here it comes. Oh, got the arm out. This would be something, Akano. Whose only stoppage loss was the knockout against Chris Cyborg, who we just saw. And here's Tate looking to try to submit her with a rear naked choke. Tate has recorded four wins via submission. Looking for her first win via Mataleon. A submission by Tate or Akano would be a huge statement of her grappling ability. She's getting it since well, she's got the left arm, but she can't get her right arm free. Akano knows that if that right arm comes free, she's in deep trouble, and they're both fighting Cranking for that her position. Neck. 
Again, three minute rounds, maybe not as slippery as you would be in a regular fight. Akano defending well, but Tate steadfastly trying to control her opponent. Patience is a virtue, right, Pat? Well, not in a three minute round. <laughs> And unfortunately, as this slips past the halfway mark in round number three, def defense is not going to win the round for Okano. And Tate has the hooks and wants to flatten out her opponent. Okano, very cognizant of that, trying to walk out of the hooks. Maybe looking for the backdoor escape. Okano! She's coming out. She's Okano. coming out. And you talk about the key lock locked up. Tate's got the key lock. 42 seconds left. Trying to get that shoulder lock and on. And they're him. looking for the key lock is Tate. Very good grappling. Very unbelievable very good. grappling. Attempts, very good escapes on the Connell's part. What a great final here in this one night tournament history being made on Showtime. Tate now ground and pound from the back. Yeah, at some point you get tired of, of submission attempts and just start punching. Final 15 seconds left. 10 seconds. Tate has dominated this round. Fight Professor has it one round apiece. Michels sending a message to the judges with a flurry. The fight's over. And Misha Tate thinks she's won, already celebrating. But what a fight and what a performance. Tommy Akano winning her semifinal bout via topside triangle and then going the distance against Misha Tate. Misha Tate made some adjustments from that first round on after almost getting foot blocked in the first round. This round is so much more packed than That's her significant other, WEC fighter Brian Caraway, giving words of encouragement to his girlfriend Misha Tate. I think the worry was that Misha Tate used a lot of energy in her first fight against Kuyala, but that was not the case. Sarah Kaufman, I got your name. A lot of girls used a lot of energy, or both girls used a lot of energy in their first fight, but here Tate throwing the kick. Akano trying to throw with that leg. Tate securing back control and then trapping Akano's arm. Wasn't able to keep it though. Here's Akano attempting the reversal, coming out the back door. Tate doing a good job of securing that arm, locking up the key lock, the shoulder lock, to try and finish Akano. Constantly on the hunt this round was Tate. Very good job. Here's Tate with back control again, and just saying, heck with it. Can't, uh, can't get the submission, heck with it. We're gonna put an exclamation point on it and drop some bombs on Akano. Good performance that round. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we go to the scorecards, where all three judges scored the bout exactly the same. She picks up another unanimous decision, and the prize tonight for the Strike Force Women's Welterweight Tournament winner, she is Misha. Takedown, Tate. Down. Take.